Yes, so uh, we have 9,280 assessments and it's, you know, uh, it's a lot of it's a lot of work to be done. I think in fund six there was only about forty VCAs, if I remember if I remember correctly. Hopefully this time around we will have more, so that we can spread spread the the work. Uh, so this is like a simple math. Like if we make five reviews per assessment, twenty five thousand reviews in total. Each review will receive three point two dollars, right? Now this math, of course, is very inter. We have nine thousand two hundred eighty proposals, uh, assessments. Sorry, and uh, depending on the number of VCAs and the number of reviews each VCA does, this number this number changes. Uh, what does it mean to review? Review means to read the assessment, read the proposal, read everything connected to the proposal, uh, make a, make an informed decision of whether the assessment makes sense, was it done properly, and classify it as excellent, good, or filtered out. We will go into more details what what that uh, means. Uh, right now, uh, also. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please interrupt me and uh, I'll answer I'll answer them. Mm. Have something to check. Uh, so review criteria. Uh, CA contemplation of their own ability to assess a proposal. So a great proposal, an excellent proposal uh, should uh, an excellent assessment should uh, include the assessor's ability or you know expertise how they can you know assess a proposal is it critical no it's not it, you know is it mandatory no it's not but it either needs to be visible from the language you know of the assessment or it needs to be clearly stated you know this is maybe specific for some highly technical uh, proposals let's say someone has a proposal to build an sdk in some specific language and uh, and then you know assessor assessor uh, comments on the technical feasibility of that right if you're going to go that deep into the technicalities then i you know you should state that either you have the active knowledge of that language or programming experience and you know why but in my personal opinion, it's even more important that you as an assessor, your comment needs to be logical. Your comment needs to be, you know, checkable so that anyone who doubts you can check the facts that you've written down and see if they make sense or not. I don't, I don't know if I was clear on that, but like, if you claim to be an expert, then, you know, you should be able to comment on something in clear language where everyone can understand. Uh, CA scoring against challenge criteria, definitely a very important thing. Uh, each challenge has its own criteria, its own measures, all of that. And it needs to be, you know, CA needs to take those things into account, right? Needs to, the assessment needs to be meaningful towards those criteria, right? It's it's very important to understand that CAs are not voters. CAs job is not there to say, I like this proposal because I like it or I hate it because I hate it. CAs job is to assess whether the proposal has everything regarding impact, feasibility and auditability, right? Uh, is it aligned with the challenge criteria? Does it have all the things it needs to have? And do they make sense to the best of of their abilities ca opinion on the proposal overall so this is something that me personally as a ca i try to avoid i i try to not give you know like i just said personal opinions on do i like the project because it doesn't really matter voters are there to like it or not like it 
uh, and if I have like an inherent feeling on why I don't on 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 I inherent feeling that I don't like something, then I, I question myself, why do, do I not like it? What is, what is missing from the proposal for me to like the project? And then I state those facts, right? So that should be the way, right? So VCA's job is there to eliminate this bias or subjectivity or, you know, I hate this proposal, but because maybe I have a similar one and I find it as competition, right? We want to, we want to avoid that. We want to root that out. It's fine if you don't like something, but just state the facts. What is missing? Why is it you know, not there? And take your subjective opinion out of it. Um, accountability to the Cardano community. Um, so all of that is like you know all of these roles have uh, have a role in the end to the community right the whole incentive model of everyone proposers voters cas vcas it's it's designed through the game theory to have as much as possible positive impact for cardano as an ecosystem for the whole community so we always have to keep in mind did ca think in the best interest of the Cardano community, right? And if you can, if you can see that that's not some, you know, if you can see that there are some personal motives behind it, then that, you know, that assessment should probably be removed or flagged, you know, flagged as, as filtered out. Positive feedback loops. Um, that's actually something very, you know, very nice and very important in my opinion. As a CA, you know, the, the lower rating that you give to someone, I feel like the higher your responsibility to justify that rating is, right? If you give someone five stars and you say, okay, they have this, 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 and this, everything looks good, great job, fine, right? No problem. If you give someone four stars already, you have to say, well, I would have given you five stars if you had this, this, right? Something is missed. If you give them two stars or one stars, then you have an obligation to explain to that person, you know, who made that proposal, why is it so bad, right? Why, why do you think it's so bad? And it just, you know, if, if someone gives a one star, um, whether or not that one star is deserved, right? the assessment itself needs to be high quality, right? So it doesn't necessarily need to be filtered out. That's why we have those three levels. We have good, excellent, and filtered out, right? And uh, in my opinion, like most of them fall into this good category. Good category is like, okay, it's okay. It's missing a lot of these nice to have things but it's good enough that i'll keep it inside filtered out is something that, that you know ca just didn't read the whole thing didn't take things into uh, consideration maybe there is some you know bad intent maybe it's some you know like destructive feedback or you know something then okay then it's filtered out uh and excellent is something that has all of these things Right, excellent is you see the CA sat down, took the time, thought about it properly, gave a nice assessment and the feedback on on the whole thing. Uh, so yeah, that's that's on the criteria. Now, uh, again, you know, there's plenty more things I would say that come up and, and specific things that come up. And uh, it's, you know, it's still, a, I would say, a young process. So there, there will definitely be moments where, you know, all of us are going to be, hmm, I'm not sure what to do here. And just making those decisions will teach us down the line, what should we do better or what we're doing not as well now, things like that. The process is still, you know, young and new. So we do have to, you know, keep an open mind and keep and be the be the 
deliver our own judgment the best way we can, right? Of course, with the interest of everyone included, because again, CA is a person that took their time to do their assessment. Proposal, proposer is a person or a team of people that took their time, that they're building something, they're asking for money. We, we have, you know, we have an obligation to all of them to be fair to all of them. Of course, the community, community is going to look at these assessments, take them very seriously. So, uh, slide deck link, please. It's aha, uh -huh, you cannot see the new. Okay. Here, Scott. Aha, uh -huh, so classification mechanism. Um, okay, so uh, there's, of course, more than one VCA. And uh, let's say there's now four of us here. And I, I, uh, I take one assessment and I say, okay, this is good assessment. Plumman says it's good. Scott says it's good. Newman says it's excellent, right? Okay, so what, what does that make, that assessment? So for an assessment to be classified as excellent, it needs to be considered excellent by more than 50% of the VCAs participating in this assessment review. To be filtered out, it needs to be considered filtered out by at least 50% of the VCAs participating in these assessments. And if no other requirements, uh, if, no, if no other things are achieved, it's classified as well, right? Because and keep in mind, like I said in the beginning, we have 9,300 assessments, you know. Uh, Depending on the situation, it's not realistic to, ex to expect that all 9,300 are going to have you know, 5, 6, 7, 10, 15 reviews, right? It's just not realistic. Some of them are going to have one. Some of them are going to have three. Some of them are going to have zero, maybe. You know, we're trying uh, within the community of VCAs to not have, uh, to not have zero reviews especially for the flagged assessments. Ah, okay, maybe this is something that I should have mentioned. Um, okay, G give me a moment, I'll, I'll talk about that. Um, so right now the CA, the CA uh, round is finished. So this week uh, from, from yesterday until next Wednesday, proposers have time to flag the assessments, right? So let's say I have a, I have a, I have a proposal, and uh, five CAs uh, assessed my proposal, and I feel that one of them is simply wasn't fair. Right? They they treated me unfairly. They didn't treat what I wrote. Uh, maybe I think that they have some bad intentions. I just feel you know I feel some injustice towards me. I take that assessment and I flag it. And I'm relying on VCAs to review that flag, right? That's that's what I'm saying. VCAs are, are a quality are a quality level, and of course, VCAs will initially focus on those flagged assessments, right? Because those flags, flagged assessments are there to say, "Hey, man, check this out," because I, I am being treated unfairly here. So let's 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 see what's going on here, right? So most of the VCAs will focus on those first because that's something that we feel the community needs the most. Uh, but also uh, there are, again, like 9,000 other assessments who, will, who are not going to be flagged. And uh, we have to go through those as well, right? Especially, you know, uh, for, for people who, for CAs who did really a great job, they, they need to be, you know, rewarded with an excellent, as well as those who did not, who did, who did a bad job need to be rewarded with filtered out, right? So it's, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, but the, the, the mechanism is right now like this. Uh, so if three of us says good, one of us says excellent, it's good. If three of us says excellent, one says good, then it's 
then it's excellent. And if it's like two, two, okay, then it's good. And one says filtered out, two says good, then it's good, right? It, it needs to be a majority consensus for something to go, to go one way. Yeah, so we have, we have the examples here. Two excellent, one good, excellent, one excellent, one good, good. Uh, okay, there is a, there is a, a deal breaker here. We have uh, one excellent, one filtered out, filtered out, one good, one filtered out, filtered out. So it's uh, the it's it's leaning towards filtered out, right? If if it's uh, if it's fifty fifty, filtered out is going to favor. Uh, but you see here, if we have one excellent, one good, one filtered out, it's good. But here, if it's 50-50 between filtered out and everything else, it becomes filtered out. Uh, yes, so uh, here we have a couple of examples. You know, what is what is an excellent assessment? What is a good access, uh, assessment? Uh, CA scoring against challenge criteria. Uh, the CA has provided a defendable justification to support the scoring. Advisor justification for scoring clearly highlights specific content in the proposal as being assessed and their feedback gives confidence to the reader that the proposal was considered. So, you know, like, like we spoke before, excellent is something that really like professional, someone really took the time, took the effort, you know, quoted the proposal parts, uh, explained why, explained how, really, you know, really dug deep. Good assessment is, a, you know, a reasonable attempt of that, right? It's not bad, they did it, but maybe they didn't, you know, sit down for 45 minutes to do it, right? And that's the difference between good, good and excellent. Uh, and uh, ju just keep in mind that excellent assessments are rewarded three times as much as, as good assessments. Good assessments. Mm, we have, you know, CA opinion on the proposal overall. So we have these focuses from before, right? These things here, we have now examples here. Uh, CA opinion on the proposal overall. The score is supported by CA review feedback, which is unambiguous to demonstrate that CA has a strong grasp of the proposal or project perspective relative to the challenge objectives. You know, it an excellent assessment requires you to go deep into the challenge set, you know, into challenge questions, challenge metrics, deep into the proposal. Think about it and clearly state, you know, that you understand both of those sides and how those sides play with each other, right? Good assessment is, okay, you did both of that, but maybe you were a little clumsy in, this, in explaining it, and maybe you're just focused on one thing and maybe not the other. I don't know if I'm making myself clear. Does anyone have any questions so far? No, okay. I, I, I actually do have a couple of questions on mm -hmm. uh, some of the things you mentioned, but not exactly on the things you're talking about right now. I don't know if this is a problem. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Let's have a question. Okay. Um, so um, you, you mentioned something about each uh, uh, VCA um, making a review. But uh, as you mentioned, we don't know if the if uh, one assessment will have three reviews or two reviews or whatnot. Is there uh, the, does the VCA tool? I know that there's a VCA tool. I haven't actually yeah. used it, but does the VCA tool help for no, normal distribution of uh, reviews on uh, assessments? Uh, it does. It does, but uh, only to the extent for the people who use the VCA tool, right? Because a VCA tool is not mandatory to be used. It's something that helps us. And if all of us use VCA tool, then basically we have all the information. But 
we, we are never guaranteed that all of us use KCA tool. Uh, on the numbers, um, it usually, uh, well, the VCA phase lasts for two weeks and it usually, I think either, uh, 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 we, we try to get as many people as we can to do the, to use the VCA tool because in, in the CA phase, you're directly inputting information in idea scale, right? And IOG has access to that info and they can always look at it and say, hey, guys, you know, it's a couple of assessments are missing here and there. Can you focus on this, please? Or this, please, you know, but here we don't. We just fill out an Excel sheet and then we send it to them in the end. And then in the end, they, they take all the data together. So it's, the only way we can track it live is, is if we use the VCA tool. Uh, any more questions? Um, one, one more. Um, is there a video? Because I tried to find a video of someone actually using this uh, VCA tool because I really wanted to see how it works and uh, whatnot. And because it would be really helpful for me to just uh, pass through a simple review without actually uh, doing the review, just uh, using the tooling. I'm not sure if there is a video, but I am play with it for a bit. Start process. Okay. Ah, okay. So this is the link. I'll share the link. Oops. Uh, the first part of the process here is you have the explanation here, but uh, just to, just to show you. Okay, Newman also shared the link. Uh, you get uh, you get an Excel file from IOG uh, with all the assessments with all the assessments. And the uh, flagged assessments are marked with, with an X. Right? And uh, you can choose to edit directly that Excel file and then send your copy back to IOG. Or you can choose to upload that Excel file into this you know, VCA tool. And then VCA tool automatically parses the whole file and puts it in a nicer format for you. And also tracks if you already, you know, I, now I cannot without this, without this file, I cannot show you how it works, unfortunately. But maybe that's something that we can prepare for, for next time. If I upload a random file, it won't work because it needs to parse exactly that file. How does this file get distributed? By, uh, via email. Via okay. email. Okay. Uh, if you received, you should have received, at least I received an email today about, you know, if you want to become a VCA, wait for further instructions. And then in the next email, they will send us that file. And then that file, you just make a copy and say plum and tech for VCA reviews, or whatever it says there. Then you upload it here. If you want, you don't have to, but this is like a tool to help you. And then this tool, similar to the CA tool, parses it through challenges and parses through uh, low reviewed, flagged, not flagged, you know, here we have. After that, you will access to the assessment list view. There are two types of filter. Uh, first one includes random, low reviewed, no reviews and all. And second one is flagged, uh, proposal, question, rating, uh, and we have this uh, length less than, length greater than. This is something from uh, fund two or three that we kind of noticed that, okay, you know, if, if an assessment has less than 50 characters, most likely it's not a great assessment, right? Uh, and you can you can filter, you know, through, through those things. Phil, I got a question for you. Um, yeah. So there's nothing, like, like I received the email, um, mm -hmm. 
but so there's no like there's no registration i mean they just automatically send you the excel file uh i am i am pretty sure that yes they uh, they just send you the excel file and it's your choice if you're going to send it back right if you don't okay. send it back you can send it back but that file i think it's it's, it's not secret here right it's not it's not something that's you know it's publicly available um ca's names are uh hidden they are uh, they are they have assessor ids right so every ca has an id like one two five twenty whatever but the names are not there and uh, then you can you know it's it's interesting for you know proposers they can they can calculate their initial rating like that but yeah you we all get the the file and if we choose to participate we, we send that we send back the file if we don't we don't uh, i got one more the, i got one more yeah. question for you real quick i'm sorry um yeah, go ahead. so because this would be my first round as vca mm -hmm. and i missed the first part of this so I can be a CA and a VCA, but I just yep. can't, I can't review my own assessments. Yes. I got that. Yes. And yes. I'm also a proposer. <laughs> so, yes. Well, um, uh, if you're a proposer, uh, first you can filter out all the challenges. Yes. Filter out the challenges where you have your proposal in, right? If you have in depth and integrations, you are not allowed to do anything in depth and integrations. Uh, and, and you can do that in the Excel file. It's not, it's, it's not difficult to do that. And uh, also, if you were a CA, and uh, now this is a bit more tricky, but the first thing I do always is find the, uh, find my, my, uh, assessments from you know find the find the text of at least one of my assessments look for that text you know with control f and find my assessor id right so if i find that exact text then i know okay so this is me and it says assessor id 85 okay so i'm going to filter out all the assessments created by assessor 85 right um this is checked in the background you know so people won't abuse it uh i i am not aware of any simpler way to to do this filtering or you know i'm maybe there is but i'm not familiar with it so i i just do it like that i know it's not the easiest or the happiest way but you know i yeah no that's that's perfectly fine i can do that i just wanted to make sure there wasn't i knew about as far as like you got to filter out that challenge completely yeah. i just didn't know about the ca part so it's just your own assessment yeah. so you're still eligible for that entire challenge that even though you no, didn't no no as a vca you're not for the also okay. for the you know if gotcha. if you have i the safest bet is you have a challenge where you have your proposal stay away from that challenge right right Don't do absolutely. anything there <laughs> Because, you know, someone can interpret it, ah, look, he filtered out uh, a good assessment and he wants to reduce the rating for the competing one, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's, uh, conspiracy theories start very quickly. So it just, it's just better to not do it. And, you know, on a, on a more, you know, developmental note, it would be a much nicer experience if we had these three groups completely separated. But unfortunately, there is still not enough of us and, People have, you know, people have many roles for now, and we just have to be careful with with what we do. If we had like 500 VCAs, then fine, okay, doesn't matter, but we don't. We will at some point, but for now, we don't. All right, I appreciate it. Thank you. No problem. Okay, so CA opinion on the proposal overall. Um, I I did share this, you know. Uh, this document with you so you can when you're in doubt you can refer to it and go into a bit more detail on you know, what is excellent what is good uh, this is the accountability part you know this is i i think mostly 
mostly related to the auditability. How will they audit? Mm. Uh, the CA can clearly identify how the proposal. So let's say let's say an example for this, right? Um, you have a proposal uh, that doesn't have any kind of metrics of success, right? Maybe doesn't even have a timeline. Or they say something like, I don't know, in three months, uh, we will have, uh, you know, 10 more users in our system, whatever. And that's it, right? They don't have a way how to get there. They don't know. So it's, it's let's say it's not a good auditability. But then you have a CA saying, yes, the plan is there. Everything is great, amazing, five stars, right? So you as a VCA have a duty to say, well, okay, this person either didn't read the proposal or they, you know, they purposefully gave a better rating than it's supposed to be, right? And then it's your job to say, okay, we need to filter this out. Now, the tricky part about that is that <laughs> usually proposals, you know, proposers who get five-star ratings, they don't flag them, right? They're, they won't flag them. They will flag ones and twos, but they won't flag fives, right? And fives can be just as problematic as ones or twos. So that's, you know, there, there's a lot of angles that we need to think about. You know, being a VCA is kind of, you know, being a bit of a detective. Being a... Also, when you catch something that is, you know, suspicious, I'm not going to say malicious, but something that's strange for you, right? So, okay, we find that this uh, assessment is bad for some reason. And we say, okay, I'll, I'll filter this out. And okay, so what, what assessor is this? This is assessor 27. Cool, let me check the other, you know, I want to check other assessments from assessor 27. And uh, if you see that there is only one, hmm, then it can be suspicious. You know, it can say, oh, well, it seems like this person only made one assessment for this one specific thing and they really, gave great you know ratings that's kind of suspicious right and if they have 10 maybe others are you know maybe maybe the assessor itself didn't take this thing very seriously or maybe they just made a mistake for this one but it it, it makes sense to check the others as well right because we're trying as vcas we're trying to root out the weeds Right, we're trying to find problems, and we always have to give everyone the benefit of the doubt. You know, CA, the proposer, of course, proposer is gonna when, when you give a proposer a one star or two stars. I mean, why, why, why wouldn't they, you know, flag it? Right, there, there, there's nothing for them to lose, uh, especially if they have some other, like, you know, it, it's not. It's not strange to see uh, proposals who have uh, five, six assessments, and let's say three or four assessments are like uh, excellent, four stars, five stars. And then you have two assessments that are one star, three stars, two stars. And it's not always clear, you know, you, you can see the rationale of all of these people, right? It's not always clear, it's not always simple. It's just that we are not there to judge if like, my opinion is if the CA has the reason for why they wrote what they wrote and they can justify that reason in their assessment, for me, that's good enough, right? For me, that's good enough. If you can justify why you gave someone two stars or one star, fine, right? And if that assessment, if that makes sense, okay, right? Okay, uh, but if you just, gave someone two stars and you wrote, ah, this is meaningless, this, this is not important and we shouldn't have this. Okay, well, then it's not fair. Even if it's true, it's not fair. We have to filter it out. Am I making sense? Okay. So we have this. CA has been able to the uh, contemplation of their own ability to assess a proposal. 
Um, yes, so excellent would be that CA clearly defines, you know, why he or she is better qualified to, to really do a professional assessment and which, which of the statements are a bit more yeah. intuitive. And good would be, you know, CA didn't say anything about that specialty or whatever and uh, maybe maybe there maybe this specific proposal is is out of their domain of expertise right as long as they don't write something stupid and ignorant there is no reason to filter them out but we are still not at the level where we can only you know say only if you are a professional you are allowed to you know assess proposals because it's also exclusive it's not really decentralized and there's still <laughs> not enough of us so um, and also we have here like positive feedback loops um it's always nice you have actionable co coaching points i mean this this is always nice to see right from the from the proposal perspective no matter what rating you get if you see someone takes the time to write two or three sentences on what can you do better with good intention, I mean, that's always nice to see. There's literally, there's, it's always a good thing. And I always try to reward those people as, as much as I can, because you see the good nature, right? You see the good nature. Hey, how about you put this and this and this because of this and this? I guess it's, everybody wins, right? <laughs> Uh, and I'm um, sorry, can I can I ask yeah. you something because uh, that speaks yeah. to me on um, internal questions I had uh, to myself while doing CA work. Mm -hmm. So I basically saw a couple of proposals. I think they were in the developer ecosystem, if I'm not mistaken. And um, basically, I think there was a problem of mm, people not looking at other uh other already developed uh sdks and other tooling that they could just build on top of instead of uh, building on their own and i mostly said something of the sort of uh that's a very nice proposal like good job for everything you did uh mm -hmm. you might be able to benefit a collaboration with this and this and this project because i left links yeah. if i'm not mistaken to Beautiful. other proposals Great. I mean, I, as a proposer, I would love to see that. I would love to see that, right? You help them. They, whatever, whatever I think you gave them, whether you gave them two stars or five stars, doesn't matter. You gave them a resource that they can use. And that's, that's great, right? That's a very powerful. I've, uh, yeah, I just found uh, along uh, my lifetime experience that not all people appreciate that. And I, don't know if the VCs will frown upon this. Like, uh, what uh, does this have to do with their proposal? Like, yeah. Well, that's why we have positive feedback loops as, you know, as an official guiding, you know, guideline to say, yeah, give people positive feedback, give people well intentioned advice, right? Uh, I had, I had one, I had one that I reviewed and like it was, it was three one one, is what its assessment was, because the idea was awesome. So I gave it a three for the idea. I mean, it fit in with the challenge, but there was nothing in the proposal, and that's what yeah. I did. I was like, you need to, you know, you need to add like your budget. You need to do a breakdown of your budget. If you need help, you know, yeah. reach out to a community advisor. Reach out to the Catalyst School, and yeah, you know, I honestly I didn't know what else to put in there. I mean, I want the person to to resubmit it and i also put resubmit it and fund date and stuff like that so yeah you run and across it's perfectly them. fine and it's perfectly fine you know some people either don't take it seriously enough you know some people maybe don't know how to do it maybe it's you know the first time for them doing it you know but as long as it comes from a place of good intention good right there's no problem and yeah, if you give yeah, go ahead. I, I was going to say that's the other thing too, because you're dealing with a bunch of different uh, um, 
you're a bunch of different uh, geolocations, you know, like a bunch of different uh, cultures. And so, yeah. and that's, uh, I found that, uh, I found one of my proposals rather difficult on that end because, you know, not everything means the same thing in all, in, in all, all languages. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure that someone will always be either, you know, maybe a little bit upset or angry, but um, as well, like I said, as long as it comes from a place of good intention, this is the, the best we can do. We are all in different age groups, uh, locations, uh, experiences, life experiences, professional experiences. But, uh, you know, even, even the best of, I mean, the best of, even projects that I personally think are great failed in rounds of catalyst. Uh, okay, failure, failure is during voting, you know, uh, but it just doesn't mean that you need to give up, right? And if you can teach someone something great, like there's, we, we cannot give someone five stars if there is no material to give them five stars, right? You, you cannot do that. And you cannot disqualify a CA filter them out because they have nothing good to say. Like I, I had, as a CA, I had to write sometimes for auditability, there is no timeline, there is no plan, there is no budget breakdown. But what else can I say? I, and I can say, please put in, in those things, right? But I have nothing else to comment on, right? I, I'm sorry, but that's that's it. And sometimes it's like that, sometimes. and. That's fine. That's okay. That's perfectly okay. Uh, yes. Also here we have the official guidelines for CAs, for VCAs. Uh, we have the VCA tool that I shared the link for. This QA stage guide is basically a little bit uh, more expanded on, on these slides. These slides were taken from that QA stage guide. If you're ever in doubt, you can go and, you know, read through it, and find more information, more detailed information. But again, I would say uh, at some point we need to, you know, the decisions that we make as VCAs are kind of a pioneer decisions. And it has to be sometimes led with the best of intentions, but with not enough knowledge because we just simply don't have it. So sometimes there will be things that are shady, right? It's easy for me to give examples of clear-cut cases, but as you know, most of these cases are not clear-cut, right? It's sometimes very difficult to see if, if the assessor was, you know, in good intention or not. You can justify a, a two-star rating as well as four-star rating in some things. So it's, it's not easy, it's not simple. You know, plenty of times I ask myself, you know, why am I, I'm now, reading this assessment for 30 minutes and I could have done, you know, I could have reviewed 20, 30 more. It, it just, sometimes it is what it is and it's, it's a service to the community and we, we accept to do it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm just going to share this with you. Like, this is my, like, this fund is like my second round being a CA. Mm -hmm. And I still found it just as difficult as the first time. And it's not, and like my knowledge is like probably like tenfold what it was in fund six, but it's still just as difficult. Cause I guess like the more knowledge you have now, you're just like, like dissecting it even more than, yeah. you know, you know, so I don't know. I'm with you on that. 30 minutes seems like a short period of time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. for me looking at it looking at a proposal yes and it's easy you know um it's easy because right now as as a ca you have to write your rationale as a vca you don't right so it's very easy to just go and put x x x x x x x, x, x you know good 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 and like to to get more rewards or something right but it, it, it really isn't the point, 
right? It, it's, it's really not the point because first of all, if we all do it, we will all have more assessments and we will all have lesser rewards because that's how math works. Second of all, you didn't add any value to anything. Third of all, you're sharing publicly your document and someone's gonna call you out on your bullshit, right? Because these are proposers on the other side. These are proposers who, who expect to either make a living off that project, who expect to, to build something for doing their best, you know, and it's, it's arrogant to just click through it. I don't see that happening honestly, but maybe in time it wouldn't surprise me, right? Uh, Scott, uh, like, I agree with you completely. I, I was a CA first time in fund two. I was a CA in every subsequent fund and VCA since fund three onwards. It doesn't get easier, I would say. Yeah, you understand the process better, but uh, assessments quality drastically improved. Uh, reading amounts drastically increased. Proposal quality drastically improved. People know a lot more. People understand a lot more. Not only Cardano, but also the business side, the, the marketing side. Everybody is now well-spoken. Everybody knows how to, you know, before we didn't have any of these documents, right? These documents are now there. Now everybody can open them, read through them and say, okay, I need to put this, 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 and this. So, yeah, I... It's more comfortable, but it's not easier. So, yeah. Okay, uh, guys, uh, I have finished the presentation. Uh, if you have any more questions, we can stick around and talk a little bit more. And if not, we can call it a day. Um, just uh, a couple of more questions. Mm -hmm. So um, is it expected of us after we get uh, this uh, file, um, an, a comma separated uh, file or an Excel sheet or, or what, what uh, would it be? Uh, so uh, the detailed instructions will be in the email, but I can tell you for fun six, uh, we get an XLSX file and uh, that file can be directly edited and sent. Well, a copy of that file can be directly edited and sent back to IOG as XLSX. But also IOG accepts the CSV that is generated by the VCA tool. Uh -huh. So the VCA, you, up, you upload that, that XLSX file to the VCA tool, but then when you use the VCA tool, the VCA tool generates a CSV file that you can send to I that you can send to IOG if, if that's what you want. And uh, so you no, can... my questions were uh, yeah, th this was it. But uh, my concern is that uh, I don't have Windows on any machine, and okay. I don't have an XLS whatnot. And uh, I was uh, wondering if ODS for uh, if the VCA tool will read ODS format. Uh, that's a good question. I am not 100% sure. Well, ODS won't convert it? Not sure. Haven't tried, to be honest. I don't know if ODS can convert to XLS. No, I'm, I am I'm not, not sure, sure either. either. <laughs> I'm not sure either, but Plumin, um, I'm, this is not, uh, uh, we can ask Phil K or Lucho who created the VCA tool. I'm sure there is something to, to help. Are you a part of the Catalyst, uh, Catalyst School Discord server or Swarm or any of them? Uh, only in the, I'm only in the Telegram for CAs. Okay, in the Telegram, okay, also there. If you have a problem at that time, please just ping either Victor or Phil K or, or anyone. You okay, just okay. can write in the group and people will, help you with it it's it's not a deal breaker there uh, victor uh, victor was the one um f um sharing the um, the charts right yes yes okay yes. okay yeah victor is also the one of the founders of catalyst school so. oh okay good to know hey, it's a <laughs> couple of people who are very active are you know showing up in different places but okay. yeah for sure you will you will find help Okay, and another question is, um, so we get this file, we edit this file, and we upload this file, and 
we only uh, upload it once or is it a problem if we upload it like uh, five times uh, when we have different progress or can we download this file once uploaded or how does no, that no, work? So you, so you get like a master file. Um, give me a moment, I'll stop sharing. I'll find the file from front six and then I can show you. Hold. Oh, this one let me show you it says that i was looking so you got you have open office right so it says you might you might be able to import it but you might lose some functionality so i don't know what the functionality is since everything's in columns it's, it's probably filtering yeah that might be true yeah but i just looked on open office on one of their forms okay i'll so figure it out the, this is the email that we receive it's called you are now a veteran community advisor okay they tell you the nice things blah 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 whatever and they share actually a google doc link they share a vca master file okay mm -hmm. you click here it opens this file it opens it in uh, google doc right not in xlsx and google doc and you have these you know you have these instructions here so first of all it says make your own copy of this file click file make a copy you copy it to your drive right uh rename and then you have how to use it what to filter and things like that right so if we go to assessments you have the assessments here and you can filter whatever you want does it now give you an option to to download it as anything else uh if you want to download it, yeah, you can download it. There's oh, cool. There, there is ODS, ODS right there. There's yeah. ODS, open yeah, document. So I would say ODS. This, this is not a problem. I just don't know about the VCA tool. About, about the upload, upload part. Upload. Uh, yes. uh, yeah. I got That's you. something that... But like I said, you can try play around with it. It's, I'll, I'll ask around before the uh, VCA starts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the then you can the VCA tool build. crashes, you'll know why. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, you can just use this if you want. That's the old way. You can just use this and you just say uh, filter it here on flag. And then you have here excellent good filter. Right. You put an X here. Well, I cannot put because now it's in view only. You put X, you move to another one. It feels excellent and for another one you choose which ones you want you have auditability visibility impact here you have assessor id here idea title uh there should be challenge i think or and no, so and so phil if you just have to put a comment if it's not a valid proposal uh i think the comments are not um so the comments are not from um from you as a vca the comments are from proposers that flag the oh, 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 oh okay. okay okay yeah and you don't have any obligation to put a comment you can if you want you can add another column and add comment but you don't have an obligation to do that Okay, I got it. That's you. why I said if you really are lazy, you can just go and put X, 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 X. Right, yeah. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Yeah. And that's that's basically how it looks. It looks very simple. It's just that, you know, you see, you have a you have a flag here on 423. Feasibility. Did not fully read the proposal where we stayed four to six months, six to 12 months. And now you go and you read the feasibility, you read this, and then you probably find out, well, yes, the proposer is right, but yes, also, you know, the CA is kind of right. So is, is two okay? I don't know, maybe three would be more fair. Maybe four would be more fair. Maybe two is fair. 
you know, it's you, you kind of have to be the judge of that. So what? So okay. So using that one as an example. So I mean, no, no, no. Ju just okay. If it if it's a recording, just if someone is watching this, and please don't take this specific. I don't know what this is. I'm seeing Wada here. Please don't. You know, I I don't know what this specific. Oh is. yeah, I don't know what it is either. <laughs> I was just yeah. asking. I mean, like, so say that say the CA and the proposer are both right. Like they both have valid points. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean, what then? <laughs> that's know? that's 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 the problem. Yeah, that those are you'll the, be you'll be the judge of that. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, then you can go a step further and say, well, if I take a look at this idea, I can filter and take just this this idea, and I can see what the other CAs have said. You know, if if they are all kind of agreeing with composer or with this or you know you can go as much into depth as you want you know i got you okay yeah very good points all right so I um do we need to upload the file once or multiple uh -huh. times uh, uh, no only once and you don't even uh, you upload it to the vca tool uh, just to get like the the template and then the VCA tool locally stores inside your cookies, your answers. And if you want to like do a backup, you can always download your current status, put it on your computer, save it, right? But you don't upload it to, uh, to IOG, you send it to, there is, a, there is an explanation here, instructions. Step four, after you have finished reviewing, you must, yes, you must upload your sheet to a cloud storage create a link and share it in the submission form. Yeah, this is a submission form. There's like a Google form. Oh, okay, okay, I'll read the instructions, okay. Yes, and but only one time, like right? once you share it, that's it, right? So you share this at the end, at the end of everything, when you finished, you share it, and you also have to share it in the Telegram group. But it says, it says here somewhere. Okay, okay. Submission form. I don't know. I forgot already, but it says. But no, you don't have to, because if you if you upload it like after one day and then again after two days, after three days, I can open yours and say, ah, look, Plamen did this, so I'm just gonna copy it and I'm gonna be lazy, right? And we don't want to bias each other. There are sometimes we can, you know, VCAs always have like a channel on, on Discord or something where they kind of give hints to each other. They say, hey, take a look at Assessor 57. Just take a look at it, you know. It kind of, you know, puts the focus a little bit. We never say to each other, hey, uh, you know, filter out this guy or give excellent to this guy. Just take a look at this. This may be interesting. I noticed this, I noticed that, right? Just to help. But I, I think personally, maybe I'm wrong, but I think it's better for VCA specifically to have their own opinions, to have a distributed mind that really, you know, it's, it's not that standardized yet where we can just mechanically do these things. So I, I think maybe I'm wrong again, <laughs> but I think it's good to have different things okay okay cool thank you for all the no explanations no problem any more questions i i don't have any scott no i'm good i, I appreciate it thank you for the uh presentation and the uh, uh thank you thank you guys for for joining the the session there will be more sessions i think on monday and tuesday uh, for you know other VCAs, uh, if you know someone, if you think that they it would be useful for them to hear or see, you know, tell them to join. Again, this is you know one man's opinion. I'm by no means I'm by no means like an expert or this is not law or whatever. I'm just sharing my experience and sharing the official documentation, whatever the official documentation means, right? Because all of these documents were built iteratively through the stages, you know, 
some VCAs said, hey, it would be good to have this. And then IOG was kind to add it. And then we said, okay, well, this would be good. And that's how we keep building, right? This is not something hyper strict. We just go with the best of intentions and try to improve every cycle. Yeah. Okay. Stop recording.